Hello there! Today I'm presenting a very simple tutorial on how to use the radial symmetry operator in black ink. I hope this tutorial will help you with your future creations. First, I create a new document. I enter the value 3600 pixels, making sure the keep ratio option is unchecked by 3600. OK. If you've downloaded the images for this tutorial, drag and drop Paper Mandala to have a nice background. Then, radial marks for an additional visual guide. Perfect. I delete my layer and start my tutorial. I create a new layer stack for my drawing and a layer that I name Pattern 1, which will be my first motif. I extract the link from the layer stack and choose Symmetry Radial. I can see the axes on my canvas, and I connect my operator to my main layer stack. I select Pattern 1 and draw an example, making sure to start from the right side. I go back to my radial operator and increase the number of axes, setting them to 10. And for each overlapping part, I choose Overlap. To have symmetry in each part, like in Mandalas, I choose Fusion. I go back to my test drawing and delete it. I zoom in and start my first motif. I draw in the dedicated area, which I've lightened, so you can see better. I select the radial operator again and set it to 12 axes. I adjust my design by holding down the E key to erase and releasing it to draw again. All right, let's move on to the next pattern. So I create a new layer and name it Pattern 2. I choose a new color and start drawing. All right, to change the color of a stroke, I go to the layer and activate Preserve Transparency. Then I use the 5 key for the Free Fill Lasso brush and change the color. I want to change my Pattern 3, so I select the layer, delete the drawing, and replace it. Now, moving on to Pattern 4, using the same process, then Pattern 5. Next is Pattern 6. My shape isn't exactly the same, but it still works well in my opinion. All right, now on to Pattern 7. Next is Pattern 8 with its little flowers. Again, it's not perfectly even, but it works for me. Let's zoom out a bit to get an overview and I zoom in again to continue my drawing. I open my secondary view to get an overall perspective. Then, I start drawing my new pattern on a new layer, as always, and on a layer below for the filling. I move my view. Then, I start a new pattern. To duplicate my line, I select it with the lasso tool, copy it, and paste it. I right-click, choose Flip Horizontally, and move it. I finalize my previous pattern. I sketch my new design and clean it up. I put the red on a layer below. All right, on to the next one. I use the Smoothness option to better control my curves. Then, I duplicate my stroke to create its symmetry by flipping it. I select both layers by holding down the control key, then right-click and choose Merge Layers. This way, I have just one layer. Then, I use the shortcut T to position it correctly. I go back to my drawing and move on to the next pattern. I use the Straight Line option to make a straight line. The hatches are on another layer so I can erase any that overflow. Perfect. 
Then I continue with the same method. Duplicating my pattern, positioning it. Then I duplicate it again, flip it, position it, and color it red on a separate layer. I'm now moving on to my second to last pattern. This time it's quite large. As always, I draw my pattern on a new layer, and I have another layer underneath for coloring. Perfect. For the last pattern, I start from a sketch, change its opacity, create a new layer, adjust my smoothness option, and then tidy it up. I hide my sketch, and here's the result. Now it's your turn to create your mandala. Thank you very much for your attention, and see you soon.